Hi Capricorn, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading from the 11th to the 17th of May. I'm using the Visa Versa deck and I'm using the um, the Wildwood Tarot. So I hope you're going to enjoy it and I'm also using the um, Spirit Animal Oracle deck by Collett uh, Baron Reed and the Surrender deck. For the 11th, the first card, you, this is the vice versa, that's the back obviously, and this is the front. So you have the King of Cups. He looks really dashing in this deck. Look at it. There you go. The King of uh, Cups is Cancer. But don't exclude the other two water signs, Scorpio and Pisces. So you might be meeting a King of Cups, um, you might be meeting a Cancer, or a Scorpio, or a Pisces. This man is passionate, loving, nurturing, and caring. He provides for his family. So um, I also find they are quite different from each other, although uh, the general um, uh, meaning uh, or uh, attributes to the sign are the same of course like loving nurturing caring passionate um, and uh, yeah well they're a joy they are a joy and they could be highly sensitive especially cancer uh, and uh, Pisces they could be very spiritual they could uh, have a faith or they can uh, be spiritual in the sense that they listen to their intuition and their emotions are very very strong or um, heightened so you could meet somebody like that and then we've got the two of cups attraction you might really be attracted to this person for me the two of cups is also like the lovers your soulmate look at the heart Ooh, joining there is definitely a lot of passion around. Woo. So you might have a passionate affair with this person, but he is also a stayer because he doesn't give his love lightly. Also, his passion. He won't. Um, uh, le uh, he won't be a person for a one-night stand because uh, he his passion is well. Let me put it this way: his heart rules his mind. Okay. So once he gives himself to somebody, then he is a stayer. Midweek we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is the. I'll just show you the back. If you want to see more of these cards, then have a look in the playlist, because I've made several videos, one from the Big Arcana and then from each um, uh, suit. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Usually you see an older man with the dog and the family and the children. So it might be an inheritance that you're getting. There might be reunion with family and friends. Look, they do they have joined him in the reverse side. So I think with this deck I would say there is money coming to you. There could be a promotion, a gift. Um it is a family man, so this could be um, the the man that you're meeting will be a family man because the cup, king of cups is a family man he is a good provider they are all the kings are in their own right but this one is a steady person slow and he goes for durability and long term that's what pentacles mean but I've, I, I think also with the king of cups because he's nurturing he's caring and when you nurture like the Queen of Pentacles it grows it blossoms and it harvests so perhaps now your investment is re uh, bringing a return and now you can give share with the family Ooh, you do have a beautiful pal though and uh, you've got a good mate or a friend a true and loyal friend your dog, but the dog can also represent uh, 
a, a, a Gemini or um, I'm a dog in the Chinese uh, zodiac sign so the, the dog could also be a, a Gemini okay just have a look at your birth chart if you want to find out whether you if you've got a friend um, what star sign they are in the Chinese uh, zodiac signs it might be a dog but uh, the dog does represent loyalty, trust and faith. He's got faith in his owner that he will provide. So there might be a return on an investment. There might be a return um, of an investment or a friendship that you have. A friend might be uh, giving you a gift. Okay. And there will be a new beginning where there is an ending because a 10 is an ending there will be a new beginning and then we have the uh, three of bows the three of bows and that's the three of that is the three of ones like I said if you've made an investment you will be seeing a return because with the three of wands, the three of bows, means that your plans are coming to fruition. Okay, next to, uh, you've got a lot of mature men here. So there could be a father figure. If you're younger, there could be a father figure um, that is giving you a loan or um, uh, an inheritance. It doesn't have to die. He, some people say you can have some of your inheritance um, because I'd rather see you use it wisely whilst I'm alive than when I'm gone. Then you have the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles usually has a man that is shut off. And here you can see the back. He's looking uh, to the future, but you've got the front. So perhaps you are saving for a rainy day. But the Four of Pentacles usually means you have um, put your money aside and saved and saved. Or you might be too willing or free or generous with your money. You've been spending money like water running out of a tap. So in that case, it is a warning for you to tighten your um, to tighten up your purse strings but if you have closed yourself off closed your heart off closed your solar plex off or your mind and you're inactive then it's a wake-up call to come into action so nothing will happen by itself you have to come into action open that heart open your solar plex if you wish to receive um, love and meet another person don't shut yourself away it's like the house in the Lenaman. then you have the eight of cups you want adventure you seek adventure and a new beginning you want excitement perhaps that's what you've been uh, saving up for you've got the eight of cups and in this deck it says rebirth yes that is a new beginning there is a new beginning around the n middle of the week and at the end of the week but with this card I say don't throw an old shoes away um, before you've got new shoes okay so don't start something new if you have if you haven't got it okay now first of all if in this relation uh, in this uh, in this way to um, explain it you've shut yourself off so you can't do anything because you've withdrawn yourself from this new beginning perhaps it is too difficult this new beginning or perhaps you cannot see the new beginning okay or you've been waiting for it and now you don't know what to do because you've in by the looks of it you could have invested in something but you don't know uh, how to take the next step because you don't want um, to make the same mistakes if there were mistakes but basically that is good it's good to to think about it but you have had time to think about it 
and you do want excitement but remember uh, you want to do something that will uh, be uh, a good re uh, a good invest in investing invest how do you say that um a good investment so that it can grow to become an other ten of pentacles uh your plans you it looks like your plans are coming to fruition but you've pulled away and to think about it because you the, the three of staves means the three of bows means um you are planning you're planning your next step but there will be fulfillment because you've nurtured it you've taken time out to think about it you've closed yourself up so now it's time to open up at the weekend you have the queen of wands you know what you want and look at that orange or that red dress now the first when i was putting out the cards this is what jumped out of me in the reading a lot of red and orange so there is a lot of action a lot of um boom go for it and it's also because i've got the sun blinds out that the color is slightly different perhaps more magnifying um, and the queen of wands she the queen of wands is leo so you might be meeting a leo but you might have uh, fire within you okay capricorn because your sign every sign is made of the sun sign the moon sign and the rising sign so your moon sign or your rising sign might be aries Se uh, leo or sagittarius but the queen does mainly represent leo but don't forget the other two signs she's very determined and no wild horses can drag her away from her ideas and her plans and here you've got the four of stones and the stones are pentacles again okay so you've got two four of pentacles close yourself off and um, don't be too generous but close yourself off if you have to plan things take your time that is what I'm hearing okay don't shut yourself off just take time out and think about things plan things correctly don't do everything in a haste without being logical the Queen of Wands is creative is logical um, and she goes for what she wants that's the action but it has to be done the right way don't just uh, go off uh, like I said throw an old pair of, uh, an old pair of shoes away before you've got your new ones take your time time is of essence now the overall energy is the Knight of Wands here you can see him in the front he's going um, he's going towards something and here he is uh, going away from something perhaps in the in the week at the end of the week at the weekend you have finished um, you have finished a project and you are going forwards you're not scared of what is going to happen look at the light of lightning the bolt of lightning he is he's got his head down I do I do say that here he's got his head up and it's a unicorn a mystical uh, horse and here he's got his head down but he's not scared of the lightning or what is going to come on this path so you can leave the project now an ending okay the knight of wands he means and uh, the card means I mean uh, news you will receive news and you're going and taking action you might be moving you might that the the knight of wands also means moving I think they're beautiful cards here he's going towards it and here he's leaving and he's going on to new pastures now the other overall energy is the great bear and that is judgment judgment 
and you can see the magical uh, um, aura of a, a, a ghost or a spirit and that's why it, it, it's judgment it is basically in the traditional tarot it's Gabriel blowing air into the rising dead there is a second chance a new beginning wow that's a beautiful card so there is a new beginning now you from the animal oracle deck or animal oracle deck you have the scarab beetle spirit magic works through you magic works through you and the scarab beetle you've got number 52 so seven luck is on your side and I'm going to read a bit from the scarab beetle magic works through you the oracle message in ancient Egypt the scarab beetle was reverted for the creative magic of scarab beetle spirit reminds us that we can bring forth something extraordinary seemingly out of thin air whenever you let your creativity flow through you scarab beetle spirit reminds you that spirit has given you the gift of the of infinite potential you have an ally as you fashion something new new or repurposed the old for spirit co-creates with you channeling energy through you so that you feel replenished and vitalized as you make magic with what is at hand now is the time for great optimism for you can accomplish anything you desire and you your creative endeavors will come to fruition miracles opportunities abundance and love appear seemingly out of nowhere as you allow spirit to work through you and magically manifest what is needed so don't doubt yourself it's coming towards you or you are going towards it now a new project you have the finances by the looks of it the ten of pentacles and you've been holding on to it okay the four of pentacles you've taken your time to think and to plan so now you're going on a new adventure that is what you wanted awesome then we from the surrender deck you have surrender comparisons with other people keep your eyes trained on yourself focus on your own strengths attractiveness and power boom you are strong you are like the queen of rods awesome I love this reading Capricorn and I hope you do too remember if you are a new viewer welcome to the channel and I do go live on uh, Monday Wednesday and Friday unless something comes in between I'm sorry uh, my cyber angels I couldn't go live yesterday I had technical issues the last two days with my computer I'll try tonight so if you would like to join please hit that subscribe button and the bell on all and um, then you'll be notified and please share this video with family and friends and give us the thumbs up and I'll see you later ciao ciao love you